Hi friends, it's Julia. Welcome to One Kit 12 Cards for the month of April 2023. I skipped last month because I did 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. So this month, I pulled in my One Kit 12 card um, kit that I had the last time in February. Uh, maybe in January too, I can't remember now. Anywho, neither here nor there. Uh, these are the stamps that I had with the kit. I kept everything together, and so I'm going to pull it all right back in. Uh, so I have tons of stamps. I have tons of dies. I have all sorts of things in here, plus my markers that I used the last time, plus my ink pads that I used the last time. Uh, I have all of that right here so that I can make another 12 cards with the same kit. So for this one, I had pulled in three sets of those acetate stickers that I picked up from Freckled Fawn. So I have each one separated out in the bowls. These are ones that I stamped with the previous kit and didn't use. So I pull those right back in. I pulled in uh, the enamel dots and bling uh, threads, everything that was in it is still here. So I have tons of stuff, embellishments, etc. to play with. I have some sticker sheets left. This is the one on the cork board and then these are the stickers. Anywho, plenty to use on there. Uh, I have, there's a piece that I have previously stamped, I think for a card front, and here's all the scraps that I have. Plus, I have these eight and a half by 11s. I have some cards, uh, or sorry, cardstock, uh, heavy duty cardstock, and then I have these gold glitter papers that I picked up from the Dollar Tree years ago in like a five or a 10 pack with different colors. Full size papers, as far as pattern papers go, I'm running slim with what I have here in my scrap pile. I have a piece of this left. This is from the Sweet Girl line that came with the original kit. And I have this piece left that I had added in from my mind's eye uh, from the Sunshine Collection from years ago, 2011. So I could use it for this color here or I could use it for this either color really. And I could fussy cut those down there at the bottom if I wanted to, the houses or apartments or whatever they are. Then I have lots of 12 by 12 card stock. I have a, I have a pink set or a pink piece of card stock. These two have the very faintest color of green to them. I don't know that you'll necessarily pick it up on camera, but uh, if I held it here next to the white, I think you can see there's a col color variation. So there, and then I have this green piece here. I may look through my scraps and see if there's anything that I can pull that will match either of these to be able to use along the way. I have a larger scrap of the blue. And I think that's it as far as pattern papers. So uh, between the stamps, the stickers, the dies, the finishing touches, I think I have plenty to get me started to make 12 cards. So, um, give me a second and I will be right back with what I have created. Okay, friends, I am done with my 12 cards. Uh, I will show you what I have left of my kit. I still have enough to do more cards, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one apart. I have two full sheets of pattern paper in the back. Uh, one is green, one is very pale green, and then the other is pink. And then these are the offcuts that I have. Uh, this is from the second sheet of that green. Uh, here's some other cardstock that was with the kit. Uh, this is a scrap of paper that I pulled in to punch some uh, circles out of. Uh, I still have a couple sheets of the gold left over. There's a little scrap of that. Uh, here's some more leftover bit. I scored a card in the incorrect dimension and yeah, it went into my scrap pile. <laughs> Anywho, here are the pattern paper scraps that I have left. Not much of anything. Here's some uh, scraps, punched out circles. Those are punched out squares. 
or rectangles. And then these are bits that I had previously stamped and uh, used part of what I stamped for. So there's paper wise. Stickers, uh, these are the things that I brought into the kit that had previously been stamped or fussy cut. Um, yeah, there's something that I fussy cut out of some of these uh, acetate stickers that I pulled in and I've used a ton of those. This set I have not used. Uh, these feel, they just weren't the right feel. This set I nearly, I don't have that many left from in here because I've used so many of those. Let's see, blings uh, and thread. I have the three sheets of blings that I added in, enamel dots, dew drops, and then these are some leftover bling. I've used uh, both of these, but none of these. Thread-wise, on this go-around, I've used this one, but not here, and I've used a ton of these. I still have my leftover stickers. I did not use any of those. So, uh, those will either go back into my stash or I'm going to get rid of them one or the other. I haven't made up my mind just yet. So, let me move all of this stuff. I think that's it. I did pull in, I did pull in some previous pieces that I had die cut out from my scraps. And I pulled in these that I had previously uh, stamped and die cut out. Uh, and some of them I've partially colored. A lot of those were made with this stamp set from, that's, I have it under, sorted under flowers, but the name of the stamp is actually Chelsea Gardens Card Making. So that was the stamp and dies that came with that that I used to create those die cuts that I've been using for so very long. I used a ton of other stamps and dies. I will show you the dies um, I'm going to show you the dies as I go along through and show you the cards. Now these first two cards, now all the interest uh, or all the inspiration for these cards I found on Pinterest. So if you guys go out there and you put in this, um, so if you go through Pinterest, that's where I was inspired for all of these cards, and you put in Sweet Girl, the Close to My Heart Sweet Girl line, you will find all sorts of pop-ups with that. Um, I, I follow a couple of people who are close to my heart representatives and each, each new collection that comes out, they put all of the inspiration that they find uh, or that they create using those paper lines. And so that's what I've done. So I did not design specifically each of these cards. I was inspired by others who had created similar cards. I always do my own thing, whether I'm following a sketch or following someone's layout. Their layout inspires me, but then I end up doing my own thing. And that's, that's what I've done here. So with this card set, uh, I needed birthday cards. So, so these are the two stamp sets that I used here. Okay, so, oh, and let me show you the background in the, that I had stamped was with this one. That great huge uh, swirly bit there. This one is to my bestie stamp of the month. And this one is joyful birthday occasions. Uh, and I used the happy birthday. Well, they're all happy birthday, but this is the one that I used. Both of those, this one's the older. And then that little flower came from this set called Friendship Blessings. Again, really old, but I still use it for these flowers because I think they're so stinking cute. Anywho, so I put the background down and then I pulled out a die and created that background. This is the die. I have two different panels here and this is the Lanai, Lanai Lock by Spellbinders, a Chinese traditional fence. And so I put them in a fence format, uh, looking like it's going across a garden. And then I planted, planted. <laughs> yes, we're working in my garden today in case you didn't know. Uh, I put a transparent sticker here and then I just went behind it with white cardstock and fussy cut around it like what I've done here, right? So it gives it some dimension. And so I put that up on some foam 
tape right there. Then I stamped out this sentiment, which is here. It says, wishing you the very best for the coming year. I stamped it out and then I cut it apart and then I put it along there. And then because I still wanted you to see bits and pieces of the fence and the, the uh, flourish in the back. Then I stamped and fussy cut those flowers and put some bling down and called this one done. On the inside, I put another transparent sticker with just a happy birthday. Same for both of those. So that was cards number one. Card number two is this one. Pretty simple, right? Uh, unspectacular. Again, uh, let's see. I used this stamp for the happy birthday. It's your day. And I used this stamp, uh, the little one here, to create my flower in the center there. And that leaf is one that, from that uh, leaf pieces that I had previously punched out. That's what I had left. And this is sending a smile with love. And that is from this Random Act of Cardness Stamp of the Month. I have no earthly idea what stamp, I mean what year or um, what month that was from. But sending a smile with love. And then another transparent sticker there. Simple, easy, and then I used the little dew drops. Next, you see the papers that I put on the front. Um, and then I took some leaves that I had previously stamped and fussy cut along with, or die cut, along with a little leafy shape, some bling around it. The happy birthday was from this set, happy birthday. I fussy cut, or not fussy cut, I die cut that out with this die set from Firefly. Anywho, it makes all these different shapes, so I still have those very fussy bits here. This is the frame that it actually cut out, which was way more delicate than I thought it was going to be. Um, so I used the inner portion of that on this one here, the next to the biggest size. And so that's what I have here. I used the gold thread and went around that piece and then I used of course the bling and I just put happy birthday with that transparent sticker there and on the inside wishing you the very best for the coming year that's the same sentiment that I cut apart for up here so it's down here right the second card I opted to make it a Mother's Day card right because Mother's Day is going to be here before you know it and so same deal, same leaves, same bling, same thread, same shape, same transparent flower. I just put Happy Mother's Day on it. And then on the inside, I put Love You Lots and Lots. And that is from this stamp set called Wor Workshops Your Way, Miss You Workshop. And so uh, Love You Lots and Lots. So you can see when I use my stamps, and I think that's true for most card makers and stampers, uh, when you've been doing it for a long time, you really learn to mix and match those stamps up, right? And before I forget, here is the sentiment for Happy Mother's Day. This is the May word puzzle from Stampaganza 2017. I want a whole set, a whole year of these stamps. Next up, I created this card here again. Uh, inspiration came from Pinterest and so I had punched out the circle in the background to create my uh, design on here and I know y'all my my coloring is not great I didn't give the ink time to the outline ink time to dry so yeah I dealt with that uh, anywho I put a floral sticker here the transparent one and I love that you can still see bits and pieces through that I used a graded circle a stitch circle to create my circles I think these two here on here so uh, and that's the circle frame that I cut from this background piece here and then on a punch out piece I put my two girls there, color them in, put another transparent sticker here, and then put a sentiment here, uh, happy birthday, and then the sentiment here, and I use that blue cardstock to go around that with a little bit of bling on the front of it. Both of these are just the same. I need to trim that down. And this is a stamp set I use for the happy birthday, and then the age is strictly. Uh, it's so many candles workshops your way. Anywho, 
So I love how those two came together. Next up, and I feel like they have a funny little groove to them because I use liquid adhesive on the back of the pattern paper. So I took a random assortment of all of those leaves that I had previously punched out or stamped, all of that, and put in the background with that uh, inner circle from the last card here where I punched that green out. I just used it here, put a transparent sticker over it, cut out that same sentiment again, then stamped uh, and colored and fussy cut the bumblebee. And on the inside, I wrote happy birthday. So for that one, I used the bee from here and I used the happy birthday, this sentiment from here, as well as wishing you the very best from this stamp set as well. Use lots of little bits of bling and uh, those flat back pearls. And then finally, my last two are here. Again, again, the same sentiment here and then happy birthday on the inside. And then for this one, I use more of those uh, previously stamped and die cut images. And I did color those leaves in with this um, Crayola marker, nothing fancy. And when I stamped these out, I don't think these were stamped with uh, archival black ink. I think these were just regular black ink, but they've been stamped in my stash forever, so that color did not bleed from there. I did put the floral image here on the uh, white background and then fussy cut it, and then I used some more gold thread on here just as an embellishment. I did that on these two, but you can hardly see it. I should have done a better job on those. And then the inside, I just put a little scrap of paper. But yeah, uh, I have not stamped the envelopes yet, but that'll be coming. So here are the 12 cards that I have created for this month. And I really like how these came out. They feel a bit, a bit more creative than what I normally do with cards, but that's okay. Um, sometimes I feel a little bit more creative and coming into this, uh, I have just finished off an entire month of creating layouts. So the creativity is still flowing and I'm, I'm using it. I'm doing stuff like this that I wouldn't normally do like fussy cutting these out, cutting these out once they're stamped. Sometimes I've done that, but not a whole lot. I usually stamp the sentiment as a whole, but doing it this way and looking at those bits and pieces of inspiration from Pinterest has really sparked my creativity uh, in making these cards this month. So if you like what you saw today, I hope you will flip me a thumbs up and yeah, look forward to creating more cards next month. You guys have a great day and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.